In this video, we are going to take a look at editing some survey points and the options that go along with it and how to edit them themselves. So I've already got a survey inserted and I've got my one manual point that we inserted in the last video. Now say you type that manual point in wrong when you inserted it. It's, it's easy to make mistakes when you're typing in numbers. We're typing in hundreds of numbers every five minutes. It's easy enough to make mistakes. So say I got the ASM number wrong. So how can I go about editing this? There's a couple ways. I can right click properties and in my properties window, it will give a few general options here. So if I expand my properties window, so I can scroll down, I have Easting Northing Elevation, but, and then the point number, raw description and name at the top. So the name is always lowercase. It, it's no matter, it doesn't matter what you type it in. It always defaults to lowercase because we cannot have two points named the same and see, I've just ruined it now because I did that. Another way we can change this is right click edit points and we'll bring up a different kind of dialog box here. So we have point number one. It's the first one we inserted. Here's our Easting. Here's our Northing. So say we got the Easting wrong by, we type 718 instead of 719. And as you saw, the point moved. And the Northing we messed up as well by two meters. So that's 38 instead of 36. It's moved at two meters. The elevation works the same way. Our name is now empty, but I want the description potentially to be the name, ASCM number. Description format, so we can set, uh, set that up. We can type some stuff in there. Easting, northings, longitudes. We can edit some points here. Point la uh, layer, we can change the layer that the point is on. And that's popped up on the other window, so we can change the layer. Point label style, it's set for none right now. So say we do elevation description. We can override what's there. It shows us the elevation and the description. Change that to northing easting elevation description along with a point number. So elevation northing easting description. We can override based on just specific points if we want to. What style the marker uses. So if I want a control point, because this will be a control point, it's our survey marker. We can set that up to control point. However, we're going to set it to none. And we're going to, in a future video, we're going to play with editing point groups and creating point groups. A third way that we can look at the options of points is I'm going to make my tool space much bigger because all the information is down here as well. However, it will show because I have no point groups set up, it's going to display every point in the drawing. So all my survey points are around 20,000. Here's my one ASCM. So Easting, Northern Elevation, Name, Description, Full Description, et cetera. All those options are down here as well. You just have more stuff to look through. This is also a good way of changing the styles. If this still works, we can select them all, right click on the heading, edit the style, and we can tell it which label style to be, and we can override that manually. So that was just a quick video on editing points. If we have some information that's wrong, the previous video shows us how to add the points in. This one just shows us quickly how to edit them and make them correct. However, you want to be careful when you're editing points received from a surveyor, because chances are those are located in the right location. Just confirm. They would even provide you ASCMs and survey markers that we would tie into.